Hello. Hello, everyone. Today I'm going to show you about orbital flow out pressure imaging. Orbital flow out fracture occur when there is a fracture of one of the wall of the orbit, but the orbital ring remains intact. This is typically caused by a direct flow to central orbit from a fish or ball. So let's see this first case of the orbital fracture in the skull city or head city in bone window. What we can see here is the right inferior orbital wall blowout fracture with Inhalation of the orbit, orbital fat and entrapment of the inferior rectus muscle. As you can see here in the image show. Another case of the orbital fracture. As the image show, the Inferior orbital flow fracture with Let's see another case of the orbit fracture. We involve to the major orbital wall with partial and entrap superior oblique muscle and major erectus muscle within fracture gap and related orbital fat hemorrhage are seen. Another case, this is, to me, is very subtle. Sometimes hard to see the fracture. As you see in the image, so the Right orbital flow minimal displaced flow out fracture with partially inherited inferior rectus muscle fascia and inferior oblique muscle tendon within the defect. Partially penetrated with less bone within the inferior rectus muscle with also noted. Minimally second mucosal adjacent to the fracture side in the right maxillary sinus root and minimal displaced fracture in the posterior wall of the maxillary sinus scene, but not soon in the image. Case with water sinus water view. Where we can see the sign of orbital fracture with teardrop signs and some cleat in the left muscular sinus, but no black eyebrow signs. Another case of sinus water view to show the Orbital fracture where we can see teardrop sign of the right eye with prolapse orbital container. The last case it is the MI image of orbital fracture 
where we can see the blowout fracture of media wall and flaw of the left orbit with subsequent herniation of extragonal orbital fat into left and moidal and left muscularis sinus. Importantly, the fracture has also involved the left infraorbital foramen with impigment of left infraorbital nerve. Fracture of anterior wall and left maxillary sinus and lateral wall of the left orbital also noted. So what is the treatment of this fracture? In general, there has been a trend toward conservative management of orbital flowout fracture. In initial post-traumatic diplopia or extra Pillow muscle impairment may improve over time as edema or muscle injury result. Potential indication for surgery repair include significant ex endothermos, significant diplopia, muscle impairment, especially with trapdoor fracture in children, large area fracture. Thank you.